All right, welcome to the medieval minifigure collecting, not collecting, collection, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> welcome to the minifigure collection video. Uh, so today I'm going to go through and kind of show all of my medieval figures, all of the ones I sort of classify as medieval figures, and you'll see a bunch of randos back there as well. So uh, yeah, I, I love how these are all set up here. Uh, I'm going to go through probably this one first, so we'll pull these guys up. Uh, I have a whole bunch of these Lion Knights. I actually didn't count these. I probably should have before doing this, so let me just do that real quick. Okay, so there's 21 of the Lion Knight figures, which all look really awesome. Uh, I'm not going to show these guys off like individually. Um, if you're wondering why this guy is a gray hat, because this is actually from an old uh, castle set, actually from one of the Old Kingdom sets. Um, I, yeah, when it was like Knights Kingdoms, not Knights Kingdoms 2. Um, and uh, I just never, I don't have another or an extra one of these hats, so he just has that for now, uh, which is fine. And uh, yeah, this is what they're looking like. Got 21 of them. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should be showing these off in like real detail or whatever. And we got the gesture over there. I just, I don't know if I should be doing that because I've never done this before. But uh, this is just kind of what it's going to be like. So the next <laughs> group of figures, we have 12 of these blue guys from Nexon Knight. So we got four of these guys and then four of them and then four of the crossbow archer guys, which look like this. So I put yellow heads on them to make them fit into the uh, the group, make them fit in, <laughs> make them fit in the group, make them fit into the castle figures, not the, because they had like the orange neon stuff or whatever, but these helmets are awesome. The blue helmets are really cool. Um, I might not keep some of these pieces. I might not like keep them together or whatever, but having those pieces are really cool. So we got 12 of them, just a small little army. And then we got the, Green Dragon Knights, which look really cool, and uh, the reason why some of these guys don't have helmets is because I actually pieced these together. I got this guy from uh, Bricklink recently, and I just had the torso, so then I added everything else. Uh, this is using the face from the rugby player <laughs> from the CMF line. Um, and so, let's put that guy there. How many do I have? I have three by three, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, wait, he's not actually right there. So we have uh <laughs> we've oh my god i can't math hang on yeah i was right okay i was right it's 11 never mind so we have 11 figures for these guys i actually uh this guy's sort of customized a little bit because he actually is using the armor piece from the old uh clone wars figures so that looks kind of cool i just left that on there because why not and this is a good look at these guys if you want to know uh, and this guy, I think I gave his helmet to somebody else, so he's just uh, not using it right now. I forget what happened to his helmet, but it's uh, missing, so that's okay. And then we got the um, these guys over here, Knights Kingdom. So we have four, five, six of the uh, sort of Scorpion Warriors, or like four of the Scorpion Warriors and two of the different kind of Vladix, because there's like a couple different versions of him, so I have two of the different versions there. And then I have the knights back here, and they're all kind of looking weird. So I don't have the visors for those two guys. Don't know what happened. Um, I'm going to have to try and get those visors somehow, or just get uh, new versions of those figures when I get more of the Knights Kingdom sets, which will happen. I have two of the... Uh, oh, God, I forget these guys' names. Uh, these guys' names. Oh, God. I know the red guy is Santas. Santas is missing his head because I think it's being used on somebody right now. I forget. I don't know where the, the other helmet is. And then King uh, Matthias, I actually have two of these guys. Uh, there's a complete figure in the tower and I just didn't bother to, to take him out. And uh, same with the two wizard guys. I think I have two, uh, two of the wizards, the sort of dark green wizards from Knight's Kingdoms. And this is a shield from the old uh, Knight's Kingdoms, which I was talking about. Uh, or, yeah, if I mix up all the names for things, I'm sorry, they're all very similar. So it's hard to keep, keep track of them. But... These are my uh, Knights Kingdoms minifigures. Gonna put them over there. And then we have the blue fantasy uh, crown knights. So we got this guy leading them with the armor piece. And then we have these three, which are from the newer, uh, like 2013 uh, sets. I It's just called like Castle, I forget. <laughs> but but uh, that's what these guys are from, but they're blue. So I included them here. And then we have some guys back here. We've got the guy <laughs> freaking out right there. And then we have those guys in the back. So we have three of the force, 12, 13 of the crown knights, or just blue knights in general, really. 
And then their counterpart, the skeletons. So this guy is uh, missing an arm. That's just how it, I don't know, it just happened one day when I was a kid. So we got uh, him, we got three white skeletons, two black skeletons, and four white horses. This one, I think it's this one, glows in the dark. And then we have this skeleton, which is actually from a hidden side set and just has a, a helmet on and then the shield and the scythe. And then we have uh, another, uh, like an actual skeleton and then the two of them. So uh, I just count the skeletons as all skeletons, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then the other bad guy faction are the trolls, which are awesome. And I didn't have any of these figures when I was a kid. So it's awesome to have these now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of the normal troll warriors. And then uh, we have this guy with the banner, which looks cool. And this is, whoops, this is what they're looking like, uh, which look so awesome. They're just really cool figures. And then we have the three big trolls. One brown one from the dwarf mine, and then two of the normal kind of green ones. So those are all my trolls. Those guys are awesome. And then now we'll move over here. Whoops, get that troll out of here. <laughs> so I decided to include these because I, I know they're not really castle figures, but... Uh, they're in my castle bin, so that's why they're here. They're from Pince, Pince, oh my god, Prince of Persia. I don't know anything about these guys, but they're really cool. These uh, turbans and things are really, really cool, and I'm hoping to use these for uh, a mock in the future, which I mentioned before. And then we have this person. She's one of the main characters, I believe. Uh, I don't know anything about these. And actually, this guy I don't believe is from Prince of Persia. He just has the turban. So if anybody knows what this guy is from... Uh, please let me know because he has a double-sided face and those guys don't which leads me to believe that he's not actually from Prince of Persia Whoops, so I'm not 100% sure who that guy is and then we have this guy as well Which looks cool who I think is from Prince of Persia because he does not have a double-sided face um, So this is from the kind of era where they didn't have double-sided faces and then here are my series 19 knights and we have what like 13 no, 11? I forget. So, 3, 9, 10, 11. We have 11. So, I decided to take all their normal pieces off and just have them as, like, uh, yellow soldiers so they fit in just like I did with the Nexo Knights guys. So, they look really cool. I don't have all their shields and armor and stuff because I wanted to have just the torsos because the torsos just look so good. They're really, really useful for castle stuff. So, uh, yeah, some of them have armor. A couple of them have their armor on but a lot of them don't so yeah those guys look really cool and we're gonna move these guys over somewhere and the next little group of figures very very small I really want to grow this collection because I love this theme these are my Lord of the Rings figures so we got Bilbo uh, who I believe is from the Hobbit or is he from no this is Lord of the Rings Bilbo isn't it because he's a little bit older I don't know, I forget, but we have him, we got Gimli, we actually have another one of, of Gimli, he's just sealed right now because it's from the Dimensions pack, and we got uh, the Urukai, this is the armored Urukai, look, which looks really awesome, um, so that's cool, and then we have Lurtz, which is another, whoops, another Urukai, so he's cool, and then we have three orcs, we have a Gundabad orc, which I actually got from the BrickWiz on BrickLink, <laughs> so that was cool, and then we got two Mordor orcs, so we got this guy with the hair, and we got the bald Mordor orc, so he looks cool. And um, yeah, now we move on to my sort of miscellaneous figures. A lot of these are from CMF series, but they count as uh, medieval figures or in the sort of medieval genre. That's why I have them here. So we have the queen, who looks awesome. I don't remember what series she's from, but she looks great. Have the, uh, the Viking lady over here, and then I ordered the torso along with her, so then I just made like a custom figure with her, so that looks cool. We got the Highland Warrior guy, which looks cool. The Wizard, which is an awesome figure. Got the Fawn, who I love. He's a great figure. I have a second one of him, who's on Taco Dana right now. And this guy's missing his helmet because the skeleton's borrowing it, so I actually might move that. Here we go. Put that on this guy. Okay, cool. Anyways, moving on to these guys. So we have the Battle Goddess, who doesn't have her accessories. I might get those eventually, but not a big deal. We have the dragon lady in the costume, which I know doesn't really fit in uh, medieval stuff, but I don't know. It's a dragon and it's fantasy, so it fits. That's how I'm going with it. We got two battle dwarf guys who look awesome. And now I'm going to take all these figures off and show the uh, second row of figures.
Okay, so this is the second row of figures. Uh, I'm going to show this guy first because this is a custom figure I made when I was a kid using the Clone Wars uh, head for the clone. And then this is Plo Koon's torso. And uh, I have this sort of custom cape. I painted this, I think, when I was a kid, or I used Sharpie or something, which actually looks kind of cool, so I just have kept it uh, as is. And uh, I'm probably going to eventually sort of change this figure because I don't want him to be, like, skin tone. So, yeah, but I actually really like this cape, so I'm gonna just, I'm just going to keep it. I know it's not purist or anything, but I think it looks cool, so we're keeping it. And then we have these two Forest Men guys, which I believe I got from... Uh, Legoland because they had like that sort of like you get the pack of figures and I believe I got these three and then those two and somebody else or I don't know I don't know how it worked but yeah we got these two guys and uh, whoops then we got this guy and then we have this lady here who's using this which I actually uh, I used to know what this was from, but now I totally forget. So if anybody knows, let me know. <laughs> Remind me what this is, because I, I forget. I think it's actually from the Forestman, but I don't know. But we got her, her torso is slightly different from the others. But again, custom painted uh, cape, or it's like Sharpie or whatever, which actually still looks kind of cool, so I'm keeping that as well. And then uh, we have this guy, who I don't remember what faction he's from. But uh, he looks cool. He's a classic figure. And we have one of the Dragon Knights, who I don't believe is completely accurate, but that's okay. He looks cool. And then we have Cedric the Bull, who probably also wasn't accurate, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't think his pants are right, but that's fine. But he looks cool. That's uh, another classic figure. This is the... Uh, I forget what he's called, but he uh, he's a cool figure. He's from the CMF line as well, so he looks awesome. And then we have this back row of figures, which are just kind of miscellaneous. So this is also, these two figures are from the Build-A-Fake from the Lego store. Uh, and this is like a witch that I made, and then this is a little dwarf guy who has an awesome torso. I didn't even like know that they had these. Uh, so when I found it, I was like, oh my god, I need that. And also the helmet, and then he came with the trumpet, so... That was like an awesome figure to make, and I've never seen that torso again, which kind of sucks, but, or the, the helmet that he wears, but it was just super cool to get that. And we have these two mermaids. Um, I actually changed the face. That's not the face I came with. That's like a, a really old classic face. <laughs> uh, and then this actually is, I think, how, it, how uh, the figure came. So she has a double-sided face, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I wanted these when I was a kid, but I did, so... <laughs> Uh, we have mermaids. And then we have the, uh, oh, what are these things called? Uh, Chima. Yeah, the, uh, I don't know what, like, Falcon Warriors or something from Chima. So, these guys look cool. Um, and you guys will know that I want these for Dark Crystal. Um, maybe for the Skeksis. I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, go watch the Dark Crystal on, on uh, Netflix, because it's so, so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, watch the show. Don't watch the movie. The movie sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anybody who likes the movie, but the show is just so freaking good. Oh my god. It's a prequel done correctly. Like, it's just so good. The best prequel I've ever seen. Yeah, that's right. Prequels suck. Star Wars prequels suck. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, probably been offended a lot of people, but I don't care because prequels suck. Okay, uh, anyways, moving <laughs> on. Uh, so we have this mummy guy from, I think, Adventurers, or, no, Pharaoh's Quest, Pharaoh's Quest. Um, so he looks cool, I don't know, I just threw him in here because he's sort of castle-y, I don't know, he's a Halloween figure, so, yeah, he's cool. Anyways, that's my video for today, this is my minifigure collecting video, shout out to GM Productions, actually, for giving me the idea to do this video, because he was like, hey, you have a bunch of cool figures, you should show them all off, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm kind of going through different, like, themes, not like, oh, this is Star Wars, this is this, but actually that probably will happen next, but I mean, like, as in, like, themes as in castles altogether, and then uh, the next thing probably actually will be Star Wars, because I have a whole bunch of things for Star Wars, and in that I might do separate factions, I'm not 100% sure, um... But yeah, this is my uh, little collecting video. Sorry if you got triggered at the end. But, <laughs> but that's what happens on this channel, I guess. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And see you in the next video.